everybody, Fran here at New Testament Explained. This video is a short introduction to hermeneutics and we're going to focus on what the term hermeneutics means and examples within Christianity that help to illustrate the meaning of this term. Starting with what is hermeneutics. Hermeneutics is a broad term and it refers to any technique being used to interpret the Bible. And I've put an umbrella here to signify the fact that there are lots of ways in which you can interpret the Bible, but it would all still come under this very broad term that we call hermeneutics. We have looked at hermeneutics before, i.e. we have been looking at different ways in which people interpret the Bible. For example, source, form and redaction criticism are all ways in which the Bible has been interpreted. And equally, Reed's Messianic Secret Theory is a technique used to interpret Mark's gospel. So we have seen hermeneutics in action across the Edexcel course. There are some additional terms we need to be familiar with. Exegesis is a term used to describe the very specific act of interpreting a passage's meaning. Exegesis is when you put hermeneutics into practice. You are withdrawing the meaning. So exegesis means to take out. So this is where you interpret a biblical passage and try and draw out the meaning of it. This is in contrast to another term called eisegesis, where you impose your own views onto a biblical text. And eisegesis means drawing in. So rather than trying to understand the meaning of a passage and to take out meaning, you are instead imposing your views onto a biblical text. Now, scholars often disagree uh, as to whether each other are uh, performing exegesis or eisegesis. That's kind of become a point of debate amongst New Testament scholars in certain situations. However, as long as you know these two terms and the differences between them, you will be absolutely fine. What I really want to get across in this video is the fact that hermeneutics is a broad term that encapsulates lots of different techniques that we can use to interpret the Bible. This table is going to show us how even within Christianity, there are differences of opinions when it comes to interpreting the Bible. If we start with Catholic hermeneutics. Now, the Catholic Church tends to base its teachings on tradition. And what this means is that Catholics are free to interpret the Bible in new ways, so long as it stays within Catholic tradition. For example, Raymond E. Brown is a Catholic priest who argues that the fourth gospel is an allegory for the Johannine community's expulsion of the synagogue. And that is an absolutely fine interpretation in the eyes of the Catholic Church because it keeps within Catholic tradition. Moving on to traditional hermeneutics, uh, this is where you base your understanding of the Bible on what we call sola scripture, which means a scripture only. And it tends to lead to a more literal interpretation of the Bible. And this sort of interpretation tends to be found amongst Protestants. An example would be Mona Hooker's rejection of the Messianic secret theory in Mark's Gospel, which was first put forward by William Reed. Hooker's rejection takes a more literal approach, hence why it fits into this broader area within hermeneutics. Finally, we've got liberal hermeneutics. In this area, scholars, New Testament readers, Bible readers tend to be sceptical about supernatural elements in the Bible and interpret miracles naturalistically. An example of this would be Rudolf Bultmann, who believes that the Bible should be demythologized to reveal its real meaning. Now, the key point we need to get across here again is the fact that even within Christianity, there are differences of opinion. Different individuals, different scholars use different techniques to interpret the Bible in a different way. That then ends my brief introduction to hermeneutics. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already.